Today I'd like to introduce you to the SE5-1000 workstation. The SE5-1000 workstation consists of the SE5, a laptop computer, and five balancing only instruments, and five laptops. So the way this works is we'll do an analysis with the SE5-1000, we'll disconnect the SE5-1000, connect a balancing only instrument to the first computer, then we'll move the SE5-1000 to another computer, another laptop computer, and we'll begin doing another analysis on that computer. When we're finished with that analysis, we plug in yet another balancing only instrument and continue on to the third computer, etc., etc. So let's get started. So first, I want to go up to analysis, and I'm going to create a new session. I click on the operator. It's going to be me, Don Paris. And I want to select a client. In this case, it's also going to be me. So I click select, and I scroll down until I find myself. And obviously, if you have a new client, you would click on new client and create a new client file and then close. The description of my session is going to be DNA activation. Session name is going to be Dawn DNA Activation. Now first we have to go through the intake clearances. And all of this is described in the beginning training video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And when I come back, I will have already finished the intake clearances. Okay, so I've done my intake clearances. My vitality is 95.1%. And now I'm going to go up to Add Tuning. And I'm going to click on Description so it puts all the different programs into alphabetical order. And I have a lot of programs in here that I've made myself, as well as the 57 add-on programs. And your computer may or may not have this many programs in it. So I'm going to go to DNA Activation and Repair and select. Then I'm going to go to DNA Activation and select that. And I want to check each one of the different DNA strings. So I start rubbing on the plate, and I go down one at a time to each one of the different DNA strands. I select that one, and I measure it. Strand number 10 is weak on mine. So I get 84.1% and continue my scan. And I also get a stick on the DNA. I haven't done this program for a while, so it's good to keep your DNA tuned up. That's also about 85%. I'm going to save that session, and now I'm going to save again, and now I'm ready to start my balancing. So in order to connect my balancing only instrument, I'm going to shut down the software. I'm going to turn off the SE5 and disconnect the SE5. And now I'm going to connect it to the balancing only instrument with the USB cable. Same USB cable works for both the SE5 and the balancing only instrument. Now I'm going to start my IDF software again. And you might notice that when you check the other sections in the software, the only thing that is open is balancing. You can run your session or your program or potentized program. So I'm going to run both the positive and the negative tunings. And I'm going to find my session. Now with the SE5, you can test for the balancing time, delay, and number of cycles. So if you want to have specific, exact balancing time, delay, and number of cycles, you should test that with the SE5. I'm going to use a generic number. I'm going to use 10 seconds on the balancing time, 2 seconds on the delay, and number of cycles. I want to do this about 20 times. And that's only about an 8-minute program. So now I click on Run Session, and I'm ready to go. I click on Start. And if you notice, underneath of your balancing only instrument, 
you have a blue light that will start blinking once the session begins balancing. Now I'm ready to move on to my next computer. So I'm going to turn on my next computer. I'm going to move the SE5 over to that computer and I'll go ahead and plug it in and start another session. And so once everything's set up, I'll come back and show you how we do that. Now I'm set up on the second computer and I can go ahead and do another analysis starting just like I did the first time with the first computer, starting a new session, going through the intake clearances, and starting a completely new client with my SE5 while the first computer and the balancing only unit is balancing away and I'm working right next to it. Some people have asked, is there any problem having these working side by side? And the answer is no. Uh, we've had people working with up to 25 SE5s in the same room, all next to each other, side by side on a table. Um, some people have had 15, some have had 20, and there's no interference whatsoever because we're not working with electromagnetic fields. If these were producing a lot of electromagnetic fields, you might get some interference working with one overlapping the other and causing some interference. But with scalar fields, these fields are setting up a, a scalar standing wave between your target, which is your client, and the SE5 directly. So there's no movement in time and space whatsoever. So there's no interference between one instrument or the other instrument as well. There are a few tricks that you can use by working between your different computers. For example, if you want to keep all of your computers current with the master computer so that all your databases are always updated in the same, then you can go up to File and you can back up your database and then restore it on the next computer. So if I want to move this SE5 database to another computer then and keep that other database in the other computer intact and I don't want to copy over it, then I would need to rename this one. So I would rename this by clicking on it once and I would call it SE5 number one because this is my number one computer. You can give it whatever name you want, just so you remember it. So once I've renamed that SE5 database, then I can copy that to a USB stick. So I can put in a USB stick and copy it to the USB stick, move it to the other computer, and then copy it into the SE5 1000 data folder. So once you've copied your database from one computer to the next computer, then you go to File, Go to Choose Database in your SE5-1000 software, and then you can just choose that database. As you see, I'll have several different databases to choose from here, and here's my SE5 number one database. This database that you just moved into your other computer will have all of your clients in it. It will have all of their sessions and all the work that you've ever done in that one database. Now, if you want to have all of your computers match exactly all of the time, you might also want to copy the subject folder, the sounds folder, and the video folder as well into, the, into each one of the computers. This works very well if you're on a network. So if you have a network set up between all of your different laptops, you don't even have to put it onto a USB stick. You can just uh, go into the network and you can copy from one computer to the next computer right into those data files. And um, you can set it up so that you can share all of those data folders with one another. It gets a little bit technical, so you might need to have some help from an IT person to set up your network and get it working properly. But once it's set up, it's very simple to move from one computer to the next computer to the next computer and copy your data from one to the other. Or if you keep them all separate and you're doing all of your analysis for one group of clients on one computer and another group of clients on another computer and another group of clients on another computer, then, of course, you don't need to copy anything from one computer to another. But if you want to have everything synchronized, one with the other with the other computer, then you'll need to do a little bit of learning how to move your data folder, your subject folder, um, your sounds, and your videos from one computer to the next to make sure that everything is updated. Well, this gives you a little bit of an idea, an overview of how these work together. And as you can see, 
This will greatly multiply your ability to balance multiple clients at the same time. If you have five balancing units and you have your SE5, that gives you a total of six different units that you can be balancing with simultaneously at the same time. If you want to get super creative, like Dr. Frank Wyatt used to do, he used to target specific areas with each different session. So he might have one session for bacteria, one for parasites, one for viruses, one for the organs, and run them all at the same time. And it reduced the amount of balancing time tremendously. He was able to balance very quickly all these different areas at the same time. Now we're working specifically on the IDF fields. We're not working on the physical bacteria, viruses, parasites, or organs. But as you can see, if you're using all of those simultaneously at the same time, you could be balancing in a very short amount of time all of these areas and bring them into balance very quickly. Now this gives you a little overview of how the balancing only units might work for you, but as you can see, it expands your abilities and your efficiency greatly. So I hope you look more into this, and if you have any questions, you can email me. Thanks for listening.